remote Australia, there are very few resources and the communities are fairly sparsely situated. Um, a lot of Aboriginal people um, don't have a lot of access to um, the resources we'd be used to in, an, in other communities, such as fire trucks and so forth, and a sort of a, a, a formal volunteer organisation. Um, but they do have um, a fairly wealthy ecological knowledge and uh, an ability to, to manage their landscapes if they're resourced to some extent. So the whole premise of this pro of these this group of projects that my project sits within is to develop uh, ecosystem services. So that is um, payment for something to do with land management activities. Um, Recently, uh, there have been a lot of uh, what they call savanna burning projects related to carbon and greenhouse gas emissions uh, that allow people on large tracts of country to, through improved fire management activities, to uh, gain carbon credits um, through those activities based compared to a baseline period that might not have been so good. There are other... Um, ecological processes that are equally worth money, um, especially in this day and age of climate change and degrading landscapes across most of the, most of the planet. Uh, a lot of these landscapes in North Australia are relatively intact and by helping the local indigenous people to manage those landscapes better, we'll be able to maintain those landscapes for the planet. What my project does is uh, provides a suite of tools, maps generally they are, they're a visual guide based most primarily on um, fire burn area mapping products that we've developed across North Australia and derivatives of those products, so the frequency of fire, the frequency of hot fires, we have fire severity mapping, we have um, <clears throat> um, a suite of these other ecological model tools that produce again produce maps that uh, illustrate to people where country may or may not be more you know sort of some level of healthiness across the landscape and to to help people focus their management activities so the maps at the end of this project or even during the project will be able to use by people on the ground who are undertaking fire management to improve or maintain the healthiness of their country and uh, they're based on a lot of modelling but um, also on a lot of feedback from people on the ground who will be validating a lot of the, the maps as we go. So what I'm hoping to have is a framework of uh, sort of iterative feedback to validate the map products and maintain their, their, their currency and their appropriateness to people because they'll all be about uh, different ecological effects of fire generally. Uh, and probably other disasters like cyclones um, so that uh, people can undertake their activities sort of well informed and, and continue to do so. So we have our networks um, primarily in the Northern Territory and in some areas of the Kimberley and Cape York but uh, it'd be good to be able to broaden the, the networks so if other people in the fire and emergency services Industries are um, uh, aware of networks that exist that we could uh, work with remote people to to work in in the form of validation and calibration of these mapping products. You know, um, some other people who'd like to participate and assist us in improving the products and maybe even creating new products we haven't even thought of. Well, we're open to all of that.